We are at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel at AFI Fest, where Tony Erdman is playing for the first time here in Los Angeles. I saw it at Cannes, where it was robbed of a prize. I was very angry, like most critics at Cannes, because you were so great. I loved this movie. So this is a father and a daughter, workaholic daughter. No. Schlub is a Yiddish yes. word. Is that okay? Does that does that describe you ad accurately? Do you know that? Schlub. Schlub? Oh, he's, uh, uh, we, we, call, we call it emeritiert. What's that? He was a teacher, and uh, now he has uh, some pupils with piano. He's teaching piano, the piano, and he has a dog. And the dog died, and the piano, the pupil left, and Maybe that's the word for that you said. Schlub? Schlub is like a uh, little bit of a foolish person. Oh. A little bit of a messy, buffoonish person. Yeah. Foolish, yes, maybe, but he, he likes to make jokes. And the jo he likes the, the jokes the most, yes? The other people don't like this joke so much than he. <laughs> that's so the problem. When, we, when I saw you at the Sony Pictures Classics dinner in Telluride, where the movie also was a big hit, you told me a story about the teeth. The teeth are a huge prop in this movie. And, yeah. and, and, and I, I just wondered if there was a discussion among all of you, and perhaps this will reveal the methods that yielded the film that we see, about how far to go with the teeth. Um, normally we have them with us, right? But this time we forgot them. Otherwise I'm very we disappointed. Put them in right now, <laughs> and it changes the whole situation. I can guarantee. But um, what do you mean exactly? What we did with them to test how to they make work? How big? How big were they? How buffoonish were they? How over? Y y there's a line that the teeth cross in a way. Yes. Yeah, so we, uh, how many? How many teeth? Oh, different teeth. Yeah. How many? Did I think have? seven or eight we had. Uh, yeah. so, uh, uh, Different, not very different, but somewhere a little bit uh, bigger or m more to see for the for the uh, if the camera is far away and if so were easier to take out, yes, some some harder to take I out. So they had to find the right yes, the possibility strength, to, yeah. to eat yeah. with the beast or or, or to, to talk. talk, yes, to, to talk. talk. And there, even in some situations where I put it in and lock and out, so it's not possible with the. It's necessary to have more of them, so, and I have it at home now, <laughs> and I do a show in the theater with the teeth. Yeah. So you had a debate. You you made a joke when you what, what play was it that you were doing? You were doing a play. Oh yes, uh, Goldoni, uh, uh, the servant of two uh, masters. And so you made a joke with the teeth, and then they made you use them. Yes, I used them, and the, and the, and the director said, "Oh God, what's that?" Keep it, keep you can it. I use it in all <laughs> kinds of situations. I use it when my daughter doesn't want to listen to me. I take the teeth and I say, You go to the bathroom right now, and she listens. It's really, sometimes you need these. It's what Maren Ada also said that her father used this kind of teeth to tell very serious things to his children. So, um, yeah. so tell me a little bit about the development of this and how you. Um, there's two hugely important scenes in the movie. Um, we'll start with the one where your character has been working on her, the workaholic, uh, for, for a long, long time. And then you end up at this party where you end up singing. As, as the, tell me what, how those two characters got to that place, but how did you end up, how did Ade, how did you all create that scene? The scene with the with the ex painting the ex or the scene where she is singing. Yeah, that's one. That's one thing. I yes. Guess. The naked naked scene too. No, we'll no, do no, that no, later. No, no, no. Just the late. The, we'll build up to the, the naked Easter scene. party and the scene. And the end of the of this party with her song. Yes. How did she? Cre how did we create it? So. Uh, I can only remember that it was a very hard day. It was very hot, and there were so many people in a very small apartment so the tension was really high for everybody and we had to concentrate very, very yeah. hard to uh, to don't lose focus there so um, 
But it was strange because it, it's such an interesting point in the story where the father starts doing what Enos wants him to do in a way because she wants him to grow up and to do his own thing and he's doing it and in the moment he starts doing it she's getting really scared and she really doesn't know what's going on she doesn't have control um, on, uh, about the situation anymore. so I think that's a very interesting point between the both yes and the father uh, the daughter is, is, is tired once she sleeps in the, she sleeps in the car and uh, the old man in a way, he is um, very. Um, he he loves to have one adventure more with this. Uh, with this. Uh, yeah, at least his private one. There is, uh, yeah. It's nothing that she has arranged. It's its own thing that he's doing at that point. I do see that scene as the pivotal scene. The scene where, after trying, you know, he's infiltrating her world, and he's. T t all right, you tell me what he's trying to accomplish. And you tell me what she's refusing to do, and why this scene is the moment where that breaks apart. Each of their yes goals I, is met in a weird I way. I think I, I I decided to do such a crazy thing to to visit uh, uh, people. They don't know me. I don't know them. There was only one moment when she gave me her her card, and she said, uh, "So maybe." Uh, you can call me or something like that. Huh? So in, in, in this big uh, headhunting party. And he really does, he goes there. And when she opens the door, I said, oh, oh, you really came? So it's uh, painfully, I don't know what's in English. Embarrassing. Yeah. It's an embarrassing so, moment. And, but they are very kindly and they show me how to paint the eggs. Nobody's interested in this. Even me, not. I, I gave her then to this, but... Uh, Maybe uh, he, he, he liked this person, the, the, uh, Flavia. She liked him too. Yes, it <laughs> looks like. A I think story there's a little the flirtation there. Yes, I, I like the most this, this situation on the stair. Yes. When she said, you want to stay to, for, for dinner? Oh, yeah, why not? But I have to tell you, I'm not an ambassador or German ambassador. Yes, I know. I, I know the German <laughs> ambassador. It's, uh, uh, this is, but the, the scene before, it's really uh, great. I want uh, her to sing a song. <laughs> I think, the, I don't know if, if this was the intention, but um, in the scene before, she used him very obviously to, for, for her thing, for the conflict with Iliescu. And in the other scene, in the Easter scene, he turns it completely around, so he uses her. It's a revenge, maybe. Yeah, it's a revenge yeah. in a way. It's a good one. It's a good Really, thing. and um, maybe he's not, he's not really sure if she will do that, if she will sing. She re he refuses to sing, and, and therefore it's so I didn't know touching. if I was going to do it. I knew I had to, but I really, I didn't know. Whitney Houston, <laughs> but it, it takes her back to it, it. It effectively takes her back to the girl that she used to mm -hmm. be. It's it's like a, a, a direct conduit yeah. to to the real Ines, who's sort of been lost to Ines. Yeah, I don't know if there's a real someone anywhere. I don't know. It was probably an eight-year-old girl, and she's not that anymore. Of course, but there is maybe a part of her, maybe. But I don't see this in a, uh, and I don't, I don't know if you did, but I don't see it in a sentimental way, no. not at all. I think, um, uh, I think the song reminds her, probably also of the things that she really believes in, and then, so it's a very powerful song and a very powerful message that is delivered there. So, um, and yeah. there must have been a time. When they teached it together, when they they they, they had uh, rehearsed it together, yeah. when she was a child, and she me, I was a, te a piano teacher, and we did it sometimes. Now maybe ten, fifteen years we did not, or no. maybe ten years, yeah. Longer. Longer, so, you think so? Hmm? So how how, are you? how did uh, I should know this, but how did my, how did the director find you both for this movie? I think in a very old-fashioned way. She did castings and castings and castings and uh, 
she uh, she always casted two like combinations. She she, she didn't cast any one of us alone. There was always a father and a daughter mm -hmm. constellation that she tried, and we were the last constellation that she tried. I think. Yeah, yes, we were the last. Uh, we were the naturally, last. because it, it was the decision. Other? Yeah, from the from, from far the theater. Away. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course. So how much? I admired her all the time, every time, on theater. So I, I have to say, sorry. I, I've never seen him on theater. Yeah, I saw him easy. later, I saw him <laughs> later. But I knew, I mean, he has, there is a story around him. I mean, hello, he's famous. <laughs> <laughs> so what rehearsal techniques did you employ on this movie to get to where you needed to go? Improvisation. Yeah, Hello. there was a lot of impro. Maren Ader tried to create this business world very strongly and our relationship as well. So we spent a lot of time together, which is pretty unusual in German cinema that you have such a long rehearsing It's the only way process. for this. For this, yeah, we really yeah. had to get to know each other and also get on each other's nerves. I can and tell casting you. always was rehearsing for me. Yeah. Everything, you, she never did it with the scenes from the script. No. She Because she's really... She can write in half an hour a new scene, and it's incredible. Yeah. So whenever we met new cast members, when we did casting in Romania as well, it was always a rehearsal for the characters that we yeah. were playing all the time. So it was everywhere, and there there were so many details that had to be uh, had to be thought of, like the whole. Uh, Masquerade of Tony, like the whole yes, the yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. So that was a big, big part of the of, of finding the characters. Also, yes. what did they look like? I tried really about hundred weeks. Incredible. We took the second, <laughs> as always. The second, not the first. No, the so second the part. First. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is the. So <laughs> was there the was there ever debate about how long the movie should be? Was no. you know because it to me it's perfect. But, but, you know, people people are surprised. Well, not in the beginning. When we shut it, I think nobody knew that it would be so long. But in the, I think in the cutting, in the editing process, it became more and more obvious that there is nothing to take away from it. From. I think Maren Ade tried to shorten the movie very harshly, but it didn't work. It, it felt longer when she made it shorter. There you go. All right, so the news, what was more difficult? to play the 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 scene where you sing Whitney Houston or the nude scene um, I can tell you what was the, the toughest thing was the was the presentation actually the business thing that Interesting. I had to, yeah that was this was a hard thing to do to learn a whole presentation a whole business case in English we only see a small part yes. so that was I was really scared of that the other things no you do it's step by step in a way. The singing was difficult because we had to do it a lot of times. We didn't find the right approach uh, for a long time uh, because I always had the feeling that Ines was giving up there because it, what, what the father does is so embarrassing. And I always felt like, okay, now I'm going to sing the song. And it was really, really boring and also sad. Nothing really happened. And then we found another twist, I think, after the fifth time. So people had you to listen so? to it five times. You think so? I, I don't remember if it's it was really different, completely different. Yeah, it was completely different. Yes, but because so for me it's this moment when you go into the song and it's ah, every 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 you touch every heart. Uh, is, is Thank you, Peter. Sure, for me it's I'm crying all the time. It's, <laughs> it works. It works definitely. really. Yes, it and works I, I could after the fifth time when I see you see the film. It works. Uh, Every time. Yeah, I think it's, time, a, it's a mixture mixture between the the different. I think we did it eight times in the end, uh, different versions. But uh, we felt that it had to be something really kämpferisch. We say, uh, what do you, how do you say that? Oh, like God, really, kämpferisch. Uh, um, it's it's yeah. She fights in that song. Yes. It's not a giving up song. It's no, no, not she at all. Takes back the situation, and makes it her own again. So that's what we found. Yeah, she has. She has not forgotten the connection to her heart. It works still, and this is the the moment in the film when you think, oh, yes. We yeah. see things so differently. I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> no. But this is what is touching. You see the the she uh, you see her uh, 
working as a as a um, in her job and, and uh, to be uh, straight and uh, and, and uh, cool and all that and, uh, and and then you see in the song that she has a very very radical connection to her emotion you're not you don't expect this ah but it, yeah of course I mean I knew that all the time because I played you knew that she, she, because for you she was this always was there yeah the, the, the most uh, the, the, the most difficult scene for you was the presentation it's clear because for you as a person and as an actress it's the the biggest um, uh, Auftrag uh, uh, challenge yeah the, yeah the biggest challenge yeah because yeah, the also because I know. felt if if this doesn't work, then she's a cheater. Like from the beginning, she she then her job is so important to her. But which when she can't do it right, she must be really good at what she does. Absolutely. Otherwise, the whole construction doesn't work. So I that's agree. why I was so. She had to be. And this is the other thing. I mean, in a weird way, there's a you're competent, you're a little buffoonish, but you're right to be trying to pull her back to her humanity and her ability to be intimate with people. Yeah. I think it's his instinct. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not that <laughs> simple. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, he also has to do something. I mean, he comes there and says, "Okay, my life is probably a bit boring. I'm gonna take my daughter and change her life. Maybe that's interesting. What about his life? I mean, that's that's the fight that they fight. It's not that the daughter doesn't want him to change anything. She says, "Look at your own thing. Look what you can do. Yeah. Are you happy with what you do right now? Sitting around making jokes all the time." So come on, and that's what he. I think what what happens in the end that uh, he's changing something too, and I think that's also the beauty of it. It's not that she has to be turned in a way only. Maybe I refuse this. <laughs> I don't. Want Maybe it's not more than they come <coughs> together. They come to a conversation from person to person. Yeah, that's not so easy. It no. Probably never it's also not it's also not such a big success but it's a, <laughs> but it is a success in, in the whole thing you feel it when she puts on the, well I won't give it away I won't give it away but um, the ending is very very satisfying it really is it, it, you feel joy thank you for, for that. saying that that's nice I feel very strongly about that I can't wait to see this movie again I love this movie alright so so the um <laughs> But the nude scene was was not difficult for you. I mean, you were showing off well, a very well uh, molded and athletic body that, that I admire. You. Yes. Well, difficult. You know, it's a challenge, of course, because it's it, normally when you have naked scenes, it's a love scene or it's in some way sexual. We don't. We didn't have that at all. So there, I was lucky because I once played Parzival uh, yeah, on theater and I had to be naked also. And he, I mean, he's a boy, and I totally had to forget that I am a woman. And I think kind of the same thing had to happen in Tony Edman that it's just about you're naked. What? What about that? I mean, what? It's not a big deal, probably. And it's not about sending any kind of signals to anybody or trying to be beautiful, or trying to stand in a very attractive way or whatever. It's just. Naked, and it's that's the that's the giving up moment of Ines when she says, "Okay, I don't have anything more to add here, and do what you want." Did you know how funny it was going to be? No, Not that's at all. what's so interesting to me. It's so funny because everyone else is revealed yeah. as who they really are. Yeah, bad no, or we, good. W there was a moment. Do you remember when Maren said uh, during the shooting that um, she thought it was a comedy, but now she's not so sure anymore? It's probably a movie about humor. So we never knew if the jokes were working or if the desperation of the of the characters would like have a positive effect on someone. But yeah, when we saw it, we yeah. Yeah, I, I never forget this moment when we saw. Yeah, the first time you were sitting not this side, you were sitting left. Yeah. Me. And I remember I was met like this. Yeah. Sandra. Was it, it a good before film. Can or at Can or? It was before. Can. Yes. I think yes. a week before. Uh, well, one week before. I saw the first time the film in the cinema. You have to see it in the cinema, not on the laptop. I'm sure. 
Yeah, with other people. And I think that's the thing you can also do at home, but you have to have other people because the I think the the feeling of laughing together at the problems of yeah. these people is yeah. really something else and when you watch it alone it doesn't work I think it's like uh, to take the meal huh? yeah it's, it's like good. yeah yeah that's to good. do it alone it's a total <laughs> social thing thank you thank you